proof. So we are soft in some departments and our football, every player has to be in his position. Otherwise, it's more difficult for everyone. And in the first half, we didn't do it. We defended fantastically well as a team. Um, we were well organized with a good discipline. Um, we work hard. And then in the second half, of course, there were a little bit of tightness and uh, they built this kind of momentum. And of course, when they scored that first goal, it became even more difficult for us. What was the message from the manager? It was frustrating to try and break down that Crystal Palace defence. Yeah, it's about uh, try to continue what we're doing. We were almost there in the first half and some small adjustments, uh, Pep told us. And uh, yeah, we did it and uh, it uh, got results. So uh, it's about listening to the manager. We have not done anything special to him like uh, he didn't do before. <laughs> the first two was nice, but especially the third one, how in front of the two, two defenders, how the quality to don't shoot the strong, just put the ball to the net. Yeah, a remarkable comeback. I think that four times in the last six games City have been two down. Uh, they drew against Newcastle and won the others. Mm. Uh, Ian Hattrick, Haaland, yeah. uh, amazing. Six goals in four Premier League games now. Uh, he's a proper poacher, yeah. old time. Yeah. What's that? For, <laughs> he's like 22, 13 hat tricks already. Uh, eight touches in each half, you know, but like what, what he shows is that, um, you know, he's always in the box. And what he shows is that in respects of what he's doing and the touches and how important they are, they're not important. As, as, they're only important as long as you're putting it in the net. I think that Palace defended him very, very well. They were close to him. He's trying to get in the areas where he could do his work. You could see him there, so he gay with him. He's not doing enough movement there to lose them. You've got two players on him there, so he couldn't really do anything. And even this one is something that I've seen with him a lot. He always wants to end up there at the back post, mm -hmm. you know, getting that tap in because he's always in the box. But in the second half, I think Palace tired a bit and his movement's better. Look, one, two, three, then it's not there. So then he drops off a bit and then attacks that space. Bam, there it is. This one's, this one's really interesting because you look at it and you see there's nine Palace players in there and you're thinking Erlen Haaland. He's going to end up tapping it in there and you're thinking on his own as well but what's happening is when you look at the front but there's no way he can go anywhere else look at there's four players in front of him but like he knows that the space is there i know it's quite fortuitous it gets him through john stones but Make he's there luck. exactly he's there because he's always there and this is where he's going to score loads of goals because like gundawan knows him he's running through look at the strength he's had a look for him there bang holds him off and then composed finish Talk like they, the guy called him a, a bit of a monster. He's a monster. He's a he's a goal scoring monster. This, this he's going to be very very. I've, it, to be honest, yeah. And for somebody that we were so excited to see here, yeah. you know, he's going to do that in a city like in a team like City. He's going to score loads of goals, man. Yeah. Yeah. Look at his heat map. Look, <laughs> Gary Lineker's. Look, I mean, sorry, <laughs> Erlen Haaland. Sorry, you know, touch it. Be a bit of brown on there. <laughs> 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 Um, Palace fans, Palace fans were not happy with a couple of decisions, Jermaine, and, yeah. and one of them um, involved Erling Haaland. Yeah. Could it have been a red? No. Well, we've seen them given. Yeah. There's no doubt about that. They're not. Uh, I don't think it's a red card, in my opinion. Um, he's really clearly trying to bring the ball down. Um, great referee can clearly see uh, all the intentions of Haaland. Yeah. Anderson's head is coming down also. Um, they're asking for a red card. He's trying to bring the ball down. Well, yeah, to bring the yellow. Dangerous. Though. I think it's a yellow. It, it is dangerous, and we've but seen them one, being given. This is, this is interesting because the goalkeeper's got it, and they are a protected species. <laughs> yeah, they? they are. Uh, I don't think there's any separation from Edison mm. and uh, the ball. I don't think it's fully released the ball there. Oh, I don't I know. Think it, I, I, bet, I, I don't know. Of right course now. you I do. Don't, <laughs> I, well, it's it's left his hand, it's isn't left, it? Uh, I don't know if it has. No, I don't think it had left his hand. It's not like we're the, the carious one in the Champions League final with Benzema where that was fully thrown and yeah. he blocks that and scores. I think it's right on the tips of his fingers for medicine and gets blocked. Okay. I'd, I'd like to see that given because I, as a forward, I'd like to try and do that sort of stuff. <laughs> well, the, the but it's in the laws, isn't it? It's in the laws that you, it has to be totally released. Yeah. It, it just looked like... It, it, I don't, I don't know. Know. It was too... Anyway, well, in their rights have a bit well, of a complaint We'll agree to disagree. It would have been 3-0. Palace yeah. would have maybe finished them off. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> It's going to be one of those days for City against Palace once again, Steve. Yes, poor start for Manchester City. Deflection off De Bruyne onto Kyle Walker, onto John Stones, and it flies past the keeper who's got no chance. And again, another set piece. Pep Guardiola warns about it before the game. That was a lovely header from Anderson. Absolutely smashed in the back of the net. 2-0 up at half-time. Into the second half. 
City pull one back, Bernardo Silva, Michael. Yeah, Silva's a lot bit, bit of talk about him lately, hasn't there? Whether he's going to be staying or going, but he's certainly been an absolute superstar for this team. This one was a little bit lucky, though, did take a deflection, but it yeah. got them back in, and this was the start of them, the, uh, the momentum of them of getting back into the game. Yeah, yeah it took just a tough deflection. deflection off Schluck. Jeffrey Schluck, yeah. But that was it then. The momentum was with City, and it was just a matter of time before they scored again, and it turns into the Erling Haaland show. <laughs> it certainly did. Three goals. Um, for the Norwegian, who claims his first Premier League hat trick. Yeah, yeah, that's the type of goal he's brilliant at, isn't it? Into the uh, in the six-yard box, he's uh, he's just going to score so many goals in this team. He's brilliant. And this was a great pass off John Stones, <laughs> but Holland's there in the right place again. And this was a, a different type of goal. Lovely play from Ilkay Gundogan, but you see where he wants it. He wants it in front, and he drags it, uses his strength to hold everybody off, and just smashes in the back of the net for his hat trick. Six and four. And he's hardly got going yet. <laughs> yeah, and that is his 13th league hat trick. And look at that celebration from Pep Guardiola, who absolutely loves what he's done. He looks happy though, doesn't he? I think he's. <laughs> 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 well, let, let's see if he's happier now and get his post match reaction after his first Premier League hat trick. Here is Erling Haaland. Erling, congratulations. Your first hat trick for Manchester City, your first Premier League hat trick, your first goals at the Etihad Stadium. How does it feel? Uh, really good uh, feeling, uh, yeah, everybody knows this, uh, but a uh, proud moment for me, me and my family are today and uh, yeah, we keep going. Very proud moment for you coming off as well to get that ovation here at the Etihad, growing up as a City fan, joining this club in the summer, that must be exactly why you came here, to get that feeling. Yeah, and um, these games, that's why, that's why I'm here, to, uh, to turn it around when it's in, in maybe a difficult times and so on, and uh, yeah, good feeling. You said it was good for your family. Have you spoken to your dad yet? Because you are now officially the highest scoring Haaland for Manchester City. Uh, yeah, he'll probably say that he had more goals in Premier League than me uh, yet. So, uh, 